Guys, I am legit gonna give myself a heart attack, okay? I am so frustrated. I am up to here, okay? You can't see my hand, but I am up to here. I can't get these dash door boxes out of the boat, okay? I'm having a heart attack. Okay, I gotta focus. I gotta calm down, okay? I'm getting messages on Discord. I'm getting messages everywhere right now. You have no idea. People are pinging me, but they're like, OB, OB, listen to my comment. Listen to my OC. And I'm just like, I'm over here trying to record a video. Stop it. I'm trying to get the box out of the box, man. I kick the box out the boat. <sighs> People, my mom is calling me on the phone. I'm like, Mama, shut up. Stop calling me on the phone, Mama. And I'm like, I'm like oh my goodness gracious. You know, I, I want to, I, I'm, after this, I'm going to go ahead and light a pumpkin spice candle. And I am going to take myself a bubble bath. I'm going to get my jammies. I'm going to eat some ice cream. And I, I'm, I'm taking a break. Okay, I'm taking a break. Oh, I can't do it. How's it going, everybody? OB here, and welcome back to some more Stormworks. Okay, guys, so last episode, we built a boat, an ugly boat, but a boat. And then we took that boat out into the water, and we reset a circuit breaker, and that was all we done. Okay, now we're in like a half a recording. And we simply made it like four feet into the water and touched some buttons. Anyways, that's not what we're doing today. We're going to jump over to Spence. First of all, we're going to go into bed. We're going to sleep and we're going to get ourselves a brand new mission here. Okay, we're sleeping. We're fast forward in time. And we're waiting for a mission to pop up any moment now. We're going to get something exciting to have to assume. Maybe. Oh, new mission. Recover five crates. Jessened by drug smuggler. We're going after drug smugglers. My boys, am I ready for that? Oh, look at the wind. Guys, the water is super choppy today. Whoa, look at it. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. That is some choppy water. I am not ready for this round of water. Okay, we got to go into the build mode, okay? How much time do I have? Open up the map. Open up the missions. What do we got going on here? Um, That's my, okay, that's my completed one. We have an hour and nine minutes. Okay. So what we're going to need to do here is build a boat that's better than my previous boat. One with a gigantic base where I can put five crates in. Okay, it has to be a pretty big boat here. Okay, so let's see here. So when we build our boat this time, we're going to want it to be centered around this middle block. You guys are telling me in the comments that this is a weighted block. This little one in the middle. That's why my boat was kind of tilted. I didn't build symmetrically around that block here. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to build a brand new boat. It's going to be a good boat, and it's going to be all around the bee's knees. So I think what we want to do here is we want to make we want to build it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We want to make it pretty long, and we want it to be very efficient. Long, kind of wide, basically the same concept as my last one, but better. Okay, so I'm thinking this is going to be like a flat base here. Now what we want to do is kind of build it downwards. We want to have like a little box in here that contains some sort of air. It's kind of hard to explain, guys. I think you'll see what I'm saying in just a moment here. So first of all, actually, let's go ahead and start rounding out the front a little bit here. We wanted to make kind of like a needle nose here. Something like this. And then I think that's how we want to do it. Maybe one more. No, no, no. We want to leave it like this because we want to add lights to the front of it here. So I know, guys. Can you believe it? There's like no shenanigans happening in this video. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I am a focused OB right now. Okay, I'm a focused little man. I got, a, I got a task on my brain, on my mind, and I am doing it. Okay, so first, let's build it down. We want to build it down a little bit, okay? We want this to be a pretty big size boat, but at the same time, it needs to be symmetrical. So I got to do it like one layer at a time. Okay, so basically, we got like the base of the boat down. Now, what we want to do here is perfectly symmetrical is we want to fill in the bottom part of the boat, 100%. Okay, so it has to be like a flat, like a flat uh, bottom piece here. Um, I got to do this a little better here. Controls a little bit wonky. Bear with me, please. It's hard to see with all this white, too. There we go, boys. So the base of the boat is done. On the inside of here, it's all 100% hollow, which means it acts as some sort of, like, bubble, kind of. So that should help us stay afloat. The weight, the weighted block right here is centered towards the back of the boat. So the back of the boat will be more in the water, and the front of the boat should buoy up, you know, have more buoyancy up there, and all things good. Now what we got to do is start building up the front of the boat. Like where we're actually going to be sitting and keeping our crates and stuff like that. We want to go pretty high, but not too high either. Okay. I don't know how boats work. I'm not a boat professional. I'm just a little boy in his room playing YouTube games. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. But I'm figuring it out. I'm learning about boats. You guys are probably learning a little bit about boats. Or if anything, you're learning how to not make boats. So all positives here. 
Okay, everybody, let me show you what I've come up with. Bop, look at this. Okay, I actually put a little time and effort into it. Not the whole day or anything crazy, but I put a little bit of time into it. Let me show you what's going on here. So at the bottom, of course, we got the little rudder at the back. We got two propellers at the back to give us a little bit forward momentum. Remember now, the inside of this is hollow, so it acts as a little air containment chamber here. We got a light on the front. We got an engine. We got four passenger seats. Just in case I got to pick anybody up. I know that's a possibility in this game, but I haven't encountered it yet. So anyways, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. We're about to find out if it works. So uh, we're going to have to save it in here. We're going to save it. Let's see what, what it's going to call it. Obezer's boat. Boom. Spawning in. And hope your butt cheeks that it works. It, it, it floated. It's floating. It should be perfectly symmetrical. Unlike my other ones. I don't know why the bottom of the boat is blue. Um, We're tilting. We're tilting. Get to the seat. Okay. So this button here. We're going to toggle it. That's the engine. This one over here is the lights. Look at that. And then you can actually control the lights. Up and down. Look at that, guys. I did pretty good, yeah? I did pretty good. Good boat. You guys proud of me? Look at this. Okay. Maybe two propellers is too strong, though. Maybe two propellers is too powerful for these kind of boats. I don't know. I seem to be having like a little bit too much lift off here. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. Let's take this one back to the workshop. Let's do it right. Okay, if, if we're going to do this, we got to do it right. So let's go ahead and just hit the erase button here. Erase that and then hit the move key. Oh, I guess we can't select that. I guess, oh, move it. Can I just move that? No, unfortunately, you can't do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and erase this one too. Grab a new propeller. Put a dead center right here. Just like that. Let's go ahead and wire this bad boy up real quick. And boom. Should work. Let's save it and see what happens. Okay, boys. Let's go ahead and try this bad boy out. Yes. One propeller seems to be a lot better. And look. We're barely tipping into water here. The boat is actually staying above water. A little bit is getting in. That's why I have the back lowered. I also have the back lowered too. In case we fell out or something. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get back in. This is, like, this is like a test run here. We fall out the boat. Oh, no. We're drowning. Oh, no. Wait for it to come down a little bit. Hop on in it. Look at that. We got ourselves a real boat here, boys. Okay. Anyways, let's hit into the tab view here and get our little booties uh, moving forward. Let's see if I hit M and open up the map here. We got to go. There's a vehicle here, a vehicle here. Where is my mission at? Island for sale. $10,000. I have 18000 Oh, boys, we should be buying an island pretty soon today, actually, because we, we're going to do that. Now, where is the drugs, though? Hold on. Open up a map. Uh, hit the missions key. Smuggler's cargo. Let's ping it. Wait a minute. Ah, I see. It's way up here. Gotcha. Okay, uh, you turn. Whoa, what's happening here? Okay, boat. Boat, fix yourself, please. Okay, I did not encounter this in boat school. Okay, they never say what to do when your boat turns upside down. You, you, you just dolphin diving out of the water into a full-on backflip. Okay, it seems like the more long, the longer this boat's in the water, the worse it gets. I am so discombobulated here. What in the world happened? It was working fine a second ago, and then I opened up the map, and now it's doing this. Slow down. Just, is, the, is the front not weighted enough? Is the whole thing just not weighted enough? Okay. We got to go the other way anyway, so let's just teleport back to town. Because there's something wrong here. Let's get some weighted blocks here. Not too many, though, yeah? Three weighted on the back. One, two. Three, four. Four weighted blocks. Let's see if that helps us stay down a little bit more. Okay, so far, so good. It kind of controls basically the same as it did when I first spawned it in. Um, I do sink a little bit more into the water, but that's okay. I'd rather sink into the water just a little bit than go flying out the water every, like, four seconds. Look at this. It's actually working. What is happening? What is that? Why does it do that? Why does it just take off out of the water for no reason? That's what I don't understand. Did I hit a wave or something? Like, what in the world? Boats don't do this, guys. I know a little bit about boats, and I know they don't do this. Okay, hold on. How do I... How do I fix this? Okay, so it kind of fixed itself. I feel like maybe the problem here is I, maybe I'm going too fast or something. Um, my boys. And we're upside down again. Hmm. Okay. How do you fix this? I got a small idea. Let me try something real quick. 
Okay, so check out what I did on the left side of the boat. I made another little hollow air pocket here, and it has two weighted blocks directly in the center of the boat at the bottom and the top towards the center of the boat. I'm hoping that will, like, help me have a little buoyancy on the bottom of the boat a little bit, but also a little weight as well. So I got to copy this exactly on the other side. Okay, it has to be a perfect copy for the other side. Okay, there we are. We got two more air pockets with a little bit of weight on the sides there. Let's save it and see if this one will stay in the water, hopefully. I, I, I'm hoping it will. Did I save it? I, I don't know what I did. Save it. Spawn it. Cross your butt kicks, boys. This is the one. 100%. Okay, as normal, it starts off fantastic. It starts off going great. Look at this. It's going great. Everything seems to be in order here. I start taking a turn. Am I going to go flying out of the water? Why possible? Slow down. I'm, I'm not holding W. I'm going kind of slow here. I'm scared that something crazy is going to happen. But no. This actually appears to be working. Did we do it? Oh, oh, oh. Little lift off. Little lift off there. Hit a, hit a wave. I'm hitting waves. Guys. I think it's weighted enough that it stays in the water. Oh, we did it. It floats. We're doing it. We're living it. Yes. We made a boat that works and is functional. Look at this bad boy. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it goes underwater a little bit and it does. It does take off a little bit, but it's working. It turns. It has lights. It has everything we need. Okay. Now, maybe, maybe what I could do is next time I make a boat, the same. Oh, okay. Slow down a little bit. Hit a wave. That's fine. What I could do next time I make a boat like this is maybe make it a little bit longer. I think if it was a little bit longer, we would have more deck space and then we could fill in like more passenger seats. Um, and then I think that's another reason why it's flipping. I don't think it's long enough. Or maybe the front's not heavy enough and it's... Is that it? Is the front not heavy enough and it's pulling towards the back? That is a huge possibility. Wait, also, with the weights being on front on top of the boat there, wouldn't eventually it want to pull that way? It would, wouldn't it? Hold on. Oh, this water's getting real deep. Oh, it's scary. Hold on. Go back to the shop. Go back to the shop. I want to get out of the water. Go back to the shop, dude. How do we go back to the shop? Is that working? Back to the shop, please. Please bring me back to the shop. Ovi is scared in the water. Okay, well, I put so much weight on it. I have essentially made a submarine here. You can see all the weighted blocks. They're the little uh, dark triangle ones, or diamond ones, rather. That might be too many, Ovi. That's too many weights, bro. Come on, man. Do better. For the YouTubes, my boy. For the YouTubes. Okay, guys, I think I finally perfected boat stuff, okay? I only have a few weights on the bottom there. They're kind of spread out symmetrically and even. They're on the bottom of the boat, not the top of the boat. The top of the boat doesn't need weights. If you put anything in the water with weights, it pulls the weights to the bottom. Does that make sense? So you want the weights on the bottom of the boat, obviously. Duh. You put it on the top. When it turns over, there's no turning it back the other way. We got it. It was a little bit of a blunder on my end, but we got it. We got a nice working boat here. I know I've said it like four times this episode, but it's true. We got a nice boat here. We're doing it. We're going to get the drugs. Okay. Um, and then maybe call the police because I feel like, I mean, are we, wait, are we, well, what's the mission say to do? Are we stealing the drugs for ourselves? Smuggler's cargo. We cover five crates destined by drug smugglers. So drug smugglers stole these crates. And we're taking them back. That seems dangerous. Who am I? I thought I was just like a normal boat person. Am I? What is that? Oh, I thought that was a shark. That's my old upside down boat. I thought that was a shark, guys. Jeez. I was had a heart attack right there. Anyways. How you guys doing? You know, while, while I have y'all out here, while we're in the ocean, my did my game crash? What was that? Did y'all see that? It just flickered. It flickered green, man. I'm trying to ask y'all how you're doing. Okay, ignoring it. How you guys doing, man? Are y'all enjoying school? Um, I know, uh, summer, uh, not summer vacation, but, uh, fall break, is it? I know fall break's coming up for some people, yeah? Don't you dare flip over boat. No. Stop. Why am I summarining? Just calm down. Calm down every time, you know? I just want to know how you guys are doing. And my boat should be trying to flip. My game's be trying to crash. Oh, jeez. This, these waves are what's killing me, man. This is some choppy water right here. How do you drive a boat with waves, guys? Do you, like, go against the grain? I mean, like, do you go sideways above it? Oh, that's how you flip. Okay, hold on. We're not we're not flipping upside down because the weights are centered towards the middle or the bottom of the boat, rather. So that's awesome. I'm gonna know a lot of you guys want me to build a helicopter, okay? 
when we need a mission that needs a helicopter, then we're going to go, oh, jeez, and build one. Um, I, I just don't think I'm ready for that yet. You know, let me get the boat building down first. And then we'll focus on some helicopters, yeah? Yeah, guys, this is really hard. Um, I'm just, like, flipping out of control here. These waves are killing me, man. Now I'm upside down, but I should turn the right way soon. Now, the best thing to do for me is to travel as far as I can while I'm underwater. How am I going to get the crates to where I need to get them, though? They're not going to stay in this boat. No way. Okay, this is super frustrating, guys. <laughs> I can't get my boat to do what I want it to do. I need it to, like, level out. Level out, boat. Why is it like pinpointing up? Is there too much weight on the back of it now? But why would it wait so long to do this? It's like it works fine for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, that's when it wants to go all wonky. Once you get like way out into the ocean. Which makes it really hard to test this bad boy. But we're so close. Man, I might as well just swim it from here on out. Yeah? No. Come on, Obi. You gotta, you gotta get the boat there. It's 900 kilometers or 900 meters away. That's... Not bad. I can I can see the island from here. I just need this water to calm down. Wait. I'm boat stuff. I'm doing boat stuff. Guys, I can't do it. Ah, I'm so close. 800. Look, I'm making distance, okay? I'm making progress. I just got to, you know, even though I'm upside down and on the water, I can still go like a submarine. Look, I just made a ton of distances now. I just, I just closed 30 meters on this bad boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Whoa. I'm doing it. I'm doing boat stuff. Living my dreams as a boat stuff person. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I... Uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm making it. Uh -huh. Guys, I leveled out the boat. The boat is leveled out. We just got to watch out for these, these big old uh, waves. Oh, I lost it. Gosh darn it. So I got to do some Googling on how to build a boat made for waves. Because on flat, normal water, this is perfect. When it comes to waves like this, though, may I need something to slice the waves. Like more of a fin on the front that's going to slice through the waves. Yeah, I need a bigger point on the front. I think that's what I need there. Okay. Well, next time, now we know to build like a sharp boat. This is just going to cut through the waves like a knife, hot knife going through butter. It's the only thing I can think of right now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask Spy Cakes. You guys know, me and Spy Cakes were a team, right? He's the smart one. I'm just the kid who follows along screaming all the time. I got to get him involved. He's the creative one here. He'll know what to do. Okay, so I found out if I go really, really slow, I have a more chance to not tip over. Okay, I'm just tapping a W key, slowly inching my way towards the island. Wait, where is it? Is it is it right in front of me? Where'd the waypoint go? Did I, did I fail? No, I'm in it. I'm in the waypoint that I need to be in. Now, are the crates on the island or are they on the water? Oh, I see them. Look at this. All I have, to, I have to put them in the boat, which means I have to, I have to bring them somewhere. How are they going to stay in the boat? This is not going to, my boat sinks. <laughs> okay. Look at this choppy water, man. Okay, pick it up. I, ha I have the crate. I have the crate. And I'm going to put it in a boat. And this is not going to work, is it? We're going to have to rethink this whole boat design, aren't we? Oh, jeez. Come on, OB, get the crate in the boat. And I got a crate in the boat. It fits. It fits in the boat. Maybe. I need to put five more in there. Where do I have to take them? Drop off is two kilometers that way. How far is two kilometers? Really far? Okay, I have to bring five crates way over here. And I can only hold one at a time. And, I mean, it's staying in there. Let's try to drive it. Let's drive the boat real quick. I mean, I might have to build a whole new boat for this, guys. I was not expecting any of this. Okay, get it, get in tab view here. And let's build it over here, or bring it over here, rather. Let's just see. We're just doing a little test run here. It's no big deal. Okay, a little test run. And that crate is gone. Oh, boy. Okay, my boys. I teleported back to my house. Look how dark it is. Flashlight. Jeez. Turn on the light. So I turned on the light, I think. Is the light on? Yeah, I don't think the light in my house works. Look how scary it is. It's just, oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bit modification for the boat. And I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm going to do a lot of this off camera so I don't bore you guys. Okay. I will be right back. Okay. I haven't tested it out yet, but look at the new and improved SS Obezers. Okay. I sharpened out the front. I used the pyramid blocks to kind of make it a little bit less jagged and more sharp. However, the front of the boat here is not a complete point. Now I had an idea. 
And I don't know if this is a good idea or not. But if I put on vehicle controls, am I out of money? No, I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm good. I could actually put fins right here, right? Not use them to move or anything, but just use them to kind of slice the water. You see how it's a little bit more sharp, kind of like a knife? Is that a good idea? I don't know, actually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to paint them a color. Uh, what color do you guys think? Uh, maybe like a nice tan here. Nice tan color. Go to paint here. Click the tan. Obi, figure out what you're doing, man. And uh, that looks ugly as butts. But we're going to try it out. Okay, I also put a roof on the boat here. It's open. So it shouldn't act too much of an air pocket or anything like that. But then I can put the crates in. If I do start flipping over, you know, I made the walls higher. They should just go in there and fit. So save it. We'll try it out. I don't know if the fins in the front are a good idea or not. But we, we about to find out, okay? We about to find out for sure. Land in our seat. Turn this bad boy on. Am I tilted to the right or left? Wait, hold on. Why am I tilted? This is perfectly symmetrical. I should not be tilted here. What is going on? Something's wrong. Hold on. Guys, this boat is 100% symmetrical. I double-checked everything like nine times. I don't know why I would tilt that way. I haven't the slightest clue. The only thing I can think is maybe I'm missing one pyramid block somewhere. That's making me slightly heavier. But everything looks perfect. Maybe it was a fluke. Maybe it's these rudders or the, the front fins. I don't know. We just got to try everything and hope for the best here. Okay, so I took off the fins of the front, and now I want to go perfectly straight. Wow, it is dark out here, isn't it? Where's my light at? Oh, I took the light off the front of the boat. Well, then that makes it a little bit more complex here, but it is moving perfectly. Okay, it feels like a slice in the water a little bit better, which is good. I could have made that, that front a little bit sharper, but I would have had to reconstruct basically the entire boat to get the pyramids to touch perfectly. And I just... I feel like I've already spent so much time today just doing this one video that I just wanted to go and hope for the best here. Yeah, check this one out. It's actually working. Now, the water's not nearly as choppy as it was earlier today. But hey, we got forward movement here. We're not flipping. We're not sinking. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Now, I'm wondering, could I turn this boat into a double decker? I know. That's pretty bodacious. A little bit crazy. But, I mean, if we could make different, like, layers to this boat, kind of like a yacht would have a ton of storage space on this bad boy. And then we could put all kinds of crates. We could put passenger seats at the top, maybe. Ooh, the sun's coming up. Good. That means you guys are going to be able to see what's going on in the video. Because right now, I know a lot of y'all watching your phones and tablets and stuff like that. And I know it can be kind of hard to see. So I apologize when it's nighttime. Not much I can do about the day and night cycle, though. Also, do you guys like my bullseye uh, paint job on the top there? I figured if I ever got stranded on an island or something like that, an airplane would be flying by and, be, like, see a bullseye and be like, oh. I want to shoot a flare at it or something like that. And the airplane shoots a flare at me and it misses the boat and it starts a little campfire for me. And then I stand on an island toasting my marshmallows for the rest of my life. But this is my way of getting fire. I don't know how to start fire myself. So I'm hoping airplanes will shoot fire at me. I mean, I guess maybe a rescue would be better. But no, I like my solitude, okay? I just want airplanes to fly by, start small fires on my island and hook me up. Give me the bro hookup. You know what I'm saying? See, now I'm wondering, would two... A uh, little uh, propellers be better than one because I'm going pretty slow now and I want it to go faster. <laughs> I'm getting crazy. I got to calm down. Okay, guys. So here we are back at the crates. Moment of truth. Can I get the crates into the boat? And will they stay in the boat? They should stay in. Okay, we're not flipping or anything crazy like that. But can I get them in? They're pretty big. They're bigger than I remember them being. Oh, jeez. I don't think I made the top big enough, did I? Uh-oh. I thought... Oh, oh, grab it, grab it. Hey, come here, come here, buddy. Get, get over here, bro. Get, please, just jam it in there, man. Oh, I thought I made the top big enough, but apparently, maybe I did. Maybe I just got to get it in there perfectly. Why am I capsizing? What is happening? Boat, stop. I'm going to have to bring this all the way back and remodify my roof, isn't I? Isn't I? Isn't I, boys? Am I going to have to redo the roof? Yeah, I'll be going to have to redo the roof, man. You did a bad job. Oh, come on, dude. Don't be like that, bro. Why well, you gotta be like that, man? Come on. I can get it in there. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. It's in. It's in. Getting it out is gonna be a different story here, but I got one in there, okay? I knew I could do it. Perfect. Okay, drop it. I dropped the crate. I dropped the crate. The crate is in there. Okay, five more to go. Oh, we can do this. This is good for me, though, guys, okay? This kind of game, even though I'm frustrated with it and I'm bad at it, this is good for me. This is what I need in my life, okay? I need some kind of structure in my life. Oh, jeez. Come on. Ugh. 
You know, I need to learn to be better at these kind of games, okay? I can't, I can't just not play these games forever. Hey, this is what's hot on the market. Gotta do better. Get it in there, man. Just jam it in there, bro. Come on. Okay, I got two in there. I got two in there. I think I could fit a third in there, but I don't know for sure. Um, If I could fit one more in there, that means I only got to make one more trip back to here. Interesting. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to make two trips, regardless. Um, if I can fit three in there, I only have to make two. If I can only fit two, then I have to make three. And that's not what I want to do. So I need to get three in there. I can do this. I know I can do this. Just give me an hour. Guys, it might be wedged in there. I don't know for sure. I'm going to try to push those back a little bit. Come on. Crouch down. Push them back. Push them back. We got three in there. Okay. Now, we just have to make sure they don't fall out. And we're good. We're going to have to make one more trip back here. That's totally doable. As long as I don't lose these crates, I'm happy. I might have been able to fit four in there. Honestly, I think I could fit four in there. Now, what I might do is I might go back to the workshop later on and kind of just cut the top a little bit shorter here. So boxes are easier to put in here. But look, it's working. So, I mean, go us. We got something working here. Okay, so it took me seven minutes to get the crates into the boat and get the boat here. We still got 40 minutes to go here, boys. Okay, so the hard part here is going to be removing the crates out of the boat, I think. Yep. They're in there, aren't they? Oh, boy. Hold on. Maybe I could uh, just get in there and kind of push it forward here a little bit. Get it towards the front. Just kind of wiggle it out. Come on. Uh, oh, can't get the crate out, boys. Uh-oh. Yep. Um, How do you get the crate out of the boat? I don't know. I thought getting the crate out of the boat would be the easy part, but clearly this is the hard part. Okay. Oh, oh I got one. I got one. Okay. Just, just stick it up. No, oh, no. Don't drop it in the water, OB. Get, it, get on the dock. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, put it up here. Oh, jeez. My boys are dropping it in the water. Come on, Obi, stop it. Just put it there, dude. Just calm down. Just a box. Jeez. Guys, I am legit going to give myself a heart attack, okay? I am so frustrated. I am up to here. Okay, you can't see my hand, but I am up to here. I can't get these gosh darn boxes out of the boat, okay? I'm having a heart attack. Okay, I got to focus. I got to calm down, Okay. I'm getting messages on Discord. I'm getting messages everywhere right now. You have no idea. People are pinging me. They're like, OB, OB, listen to my comment. Listen to my say. And I'm just like, I'm over here trying to record a video. I'm trying to get the box out of the box, man. I kick the box the boat. <sighs> People, my mom is calling me on the phone. I'm like, Mama, shut up. Stop calling me on the phone, Mama. They're like, I'm like, oh, my goodness gracious. You know, I, I want to, I'm a, after this, I'm going to go ahead and light a pumpkin spice candle. And I am going to take myself a bubble bath. I'm going to get my jammies. I'm going to eat some ice cream. And I, I'm, I'm taking a break. Okay, I'm taking a Break! Oh, I can't do it. Look how close I get it every time. I can't get the box out the boat. Oh, I did it. You just got to yell at it. Okay. One more crate to go. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do this. Just got to breathe and focus. Get up here. Okay, when I got to this island, I have 40 minutes left. How long have I been doing this for? Oh, seven minutes. It took me... Or six minutes. It took me six minutes to get two crates out of the boat. Oh, I fell! Oh, my goodness. goodness. Oh, I'm drowning in the water. Green. I'll put it there. Get it on there better. My luck, I'll come back and it'll be in the water. There. One crate to go. We can do this. Look how close it is to popping out. Just, just, yeah. Put one of these. Come on, it's right there. Oh, I dropped it. No, no, no. It's okay. Push it forward. And pick it up. Get it in the right angle here. Ah, I did it. Oh, we're free. Okay. Okay. Two more to go. Two more to go. We can do this. We just got to put them in the boat and get them out of the boat. That's the hard part I know, but we can do it. I believe in us. Now, what I'm going to do before I go back here is I am going to deliver the crates that I currently have. Just in case something crazy happens and they disappear or something. Okay. Here. One. Is that what you wanted? You wanted that there? They, they want it there. We can do this. Whoa, 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 one store objective complete? Hold on, what does that mean? Did I only need three? No, it covers fives. <gasps> but if I do five, I get the, the five star, I get $1,000. And I get the tail rotor blueprint. Okay, 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 what are we gonna do here? We got three in there. We're gonna teleport back home, okay? We're gonna teleport home. We're gonna cut the vehicle's roof a little bit uh, shorter. We're gonna fast travel here, absolutely. We're fast traveled. Okay, go to the workshop. We don't got a lot of time here, I gotta go fast. We're going to cut the roof shorter, though, so I can put the boxes in and out way easier. That's going to make life so, life so much better, yo. There we go. That should work so much better. Now, while I'm here, erase that. 
We're going to do two propels on the back. Okay, I have a feeling it's going to work this time. I just got that gut feeling. Okay, here we are. We got two propels on the back. It's working fine. We cut the roof back a little bit, so the boxes getting in and out will be a lot easier. But having a little bit of roof there gives us a little bit of protection in case the boxes want to, like, bounce out or something. At least it'll hit something. Okay, I have the magic boxes. They say going to be flying out of my boat left and right here. But look, we're going faster. We got the two propellers. We got two more crates to go. We got plenty of time here. This should be so much less frustrating. Okay, I've been recording for an hour and 40 minutes. I am so frustrated right now. Luckily, when you're in the build menu, the mission timer does not go down. We're just, oh, geez, you have no idea. Okay, if I had to do the mission timer and build a boat in like 40 minutes, impossible. I could not do it. Okay, we are finally back to the crates. Holy moly, guys, let's see how much easier this is now, okay? I have to imagine this could be so much better for us, yeah? I have it in my hands. And I think I just dunked it into the boat. I sure did. Look at that. It just goes right in there now, man. I should have just done this like years ago. Oh, get it, gotta get it in there though, okay? We do have to get it in there. What I need is like a convertible. Like a button I press and the, the roof is like, bop, you know? But I don't know if that exists or not. I don't think it does, but maybe it does. I don't know. I'm not a boat professional. I don't know. All I want to do is put the, the boxes in the boat and get to the, the place, okay? Oh, jeez. There we go. They're in there. Whoop, whoop, down or not. Drop it, OB. No, 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 no. Get it in there, dude. Why is it so hard? Okay, it's in. Jeez. Cab view. So you can see if they fly out. They should fly to like the back of the boat, yeah? From the velocity pushing them back. They shouldn't fall out of the boat. But I'll keep my eyes on them in case they do, okay? We have plenty of time. I got like 27 minutes or something like that. I should be able to get there a lickety split. Okay, check it out. We are here with plenty of time to spare. 23 minutes. That's not bad. I learned a lot from this episode, guys, on how to build boats. You know, I, I, I learned a lot today, okay? Like a whole lot. And uh, next episode is going to be a lot more smoother, I think. I'm going to try building a different, better style boat. I want the same core concept here. What? Um, I want the same core concept here of this boat, but I'm going to do it a lot better. I have so many grand ideas for grand boats and stuff like that. Man, I, I can't wait for next episode, guys. I'm going to go all out, okay? I'm going to go all out. Got it. It's so dark. I know you guys can't see anything. Oh, flashlight. My bad. I forget I have a flashlight, you know, literally popping out my face. Oh. And, oh. Eh. Eh. Oh. Got it. We're good. Love it. I got long arms. Look at me carrying my box up the hill. My frustration and stress has completely melted away. Boop. One more to go. And there she is, boys. We got the gold medal. We did it. We got all five crates up in there. Oh, man. Let's open up the map. The message is here. Let's see here. Faultless work. You're reclaimed. So it looks like we have a little typo here. You're reclaimed. All five packages. Your initiative is helping us fight organized crime. This is a great boost for police morale. I voice my gratitude to your superiors. Awesome. Thank you for voicing your opinions and your gratitude, my boy. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. But we're going to have to call this one here. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Stormworks. If you did, please remember to leave the video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel. And you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications, boys. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.